okay coming to the next aspect of hybridization where we'll be talking about uh, two carbon atoms which are have a triple bond between the two of them and we'll take a very common example that is ethyne or acetylene please remember before watching this video it is advised that you watch the other two videos where we have spoken about sp3 and sp2 hybridization in order to understand the concept of hybridization otherwise this will sound very confusing here we're talking about ethyne or common name acetylene where what we have is carbon is bonded to another carbon atom and a hydrogen atom because its valency is not satisfied or the electrons are not completely paired up what we have is we have a triple bond between the two carbon atoms now triple bond means one will be a sigma bond so the remaining two will be pi bonds between carbon and hydrogen of course there's a sigma bond and there's a sigma bond now let us try and understand how this happens and what type of hybridization will happen over here we have carbon atomic number six electronic configuration one is two two is two two px one y one z now here on the approach of the hydrogen atom carbon gets excited and of course approach of the second carbon atom as well the electronic configuration becomes 1s2 2s1 2px y and z now there are four unpaired electrons in other words it needs to form four bonds but there is only one hydrogen available to each of the carbon atoms so and moreover it has to form two pi bonds two pi bonds means there is an overlap of two lobes for the pi orbital for the p orbital in order to form a pi bond in other words so we leave out two of the p orbitals here from hybridization what are we left with now we are left with 1s and 1p uh, orbital in order to form a hybrid orbital so what will be the name given to this hybrid orbital it will be sp hybrid orbital and how many of such orbitals will be formed if you've seen the previous two videos you should be able to answer so we have one of s and one of p participating in hybridization so in all we'll have two sp hybrid orbitals for each of the carbon atom now two sp hybrid orbitals means now they will try to align themselves in such a way that they are maximum distance apart from each other and that is possible we when we align themselves in a linear shape like this so the two bond angles are aligned horizontally and this is one hybrid orbital in order to differentiate i have shaded it this is the second hybrid orbital again in order to differentiate i will shade now here it overlaps with the s orbital of hydrogen in order to pair up the unpaired electron forming a sigma bond this other hybrid orbital in turn overlaps with the hybrid orbital of the carbon atom of the second carbon atom and form an sp 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 overlap again the electrons become paired up the second carbon also forms a sigma bond with the hydrogen atom in order to pair up its unpaired electron now if you notice the valencies or the unpaired electrons are still not satisfied here we have an unhybridized p orbital in order to differentiate between the hybrid and the unhybridized orbitals i have shaded the hybridized left the unhybridized untouched same way there will be a unhybridized p orbital over here now there is one more unhybridized p orbital in order to distinguish between the two what will i do is now they are both mutually perpendicular to each other they are aligned like this 
perpendicular. So, in order to distinguish between them, what we'll do is, we'll draw it by another color. You can also do it because it brings clarity to your work, makes it more interesting, makes it easy to remember as well. Here, there will be a pi bond. Again, Py will overlap with Py, Pz will overlap with Pz. So, we have over here overlap. So, in other words, here we have formed a sigma bond, a sigma bond, a sigma bond and this is a pi bond, a pi bond. So, when I am talking about the molecule of ethyne or acetylene, we will have a linear shape, a bond angle of 90 degrees, sorry, 180 degrees because the two bonds are aligned. We are talking about the two bond angles which decide the shape. So these are aligned at an angle of 180 degrees. That is what gives it its linear shape. We will have three sigma bonds in the molecule overall and two pi bonds. Mind you, in the molecule there are three sigma bonds, but between two carbon atoms there is only one sigma bond. What, do, what are the type of overlaps involved over here? So we have an sp and an s orbital overlapping over here. An sp and an s orbital overlapping over here. So I have two sps sigma overlaps. Whereas here it's the sp hybrid orbital overlapping with an sp hybrid orbital to form a sigma bond. So I'll have one sp sp sigma overlap this is what gives us the uh, molecule of acetylene similarly you can reason out so once you have triple bond between two carbon atoms you have to remember that there will be one sigma and two pi bonds so two pi bonds means you really, you do not touch the p orbitals over here and you have an sp hybridization happening Try and practice these diagrams in order to get clarity on the topic.